How shocking is that, mate? I know, it's big, isn't it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is the final preseason game, not only for the Saints, but for the AFL in general. And uh, we are here at a little bit late, Saints v North, because of the uh, the queues were pretty bad, yeah. as you saw earlier. I think it was like 15, 20 minutes to get in. Mm -hmm. So if I would have known that, I probably would have left a little bit earlier. But currently, couldn't feel much of the pre-game. The Saints are up 6-0. to zero. Uh, I think North will be competitive like they were last week in the uh, the game against Collingwood, but what are you expecting in this game? Uh, if we can beat Essendon by 66, you'd think the same, but it's never the same with us. I'll say 30 points, and Kingy got the first goal, I just noticed. Yep, Max King just hit the goal. I'm going to go the Saints by 14 in a really high-scoring game. I feel like North, they're going to take it out to them, and, and it's, it's packed. It really is packed at the moment. Alrighty, so ever since uh, Scoops and I got here, it's been all <laughs> North Melbourne. <laughs> but to be honest with you, that's exactly what I expected. That's genuinely what I said. I'd said that North, they're going to play well. Um, Larky, Zerha, kicking goals, 13 to, to 13 to 6. Well. Yeah. McCurch has been alright as well for North, so not really a surprise to be honest with you. Alright, I've got to get away from all the other people vlogging. I didn't realise that I attract other vloggers. Oh, there we go. Oh. He definitely he threw, threw that. Straight down. That's definitely That's a free kick. Oh, it's at the top of the behind post. Oh, so the Saints have just kicked the last two goals in a row. Looking pretty strong, even though we've been kicking pretty shit. Yeah, no, we're not a jinx. We're not a jinx. <laughs> no, we're not a jinx anymore, but the win. Every single every single RSCA game, every single RSCA game, there's, there's bad win. Well, looking at that footage, Jimmy Webster looks to be out for a few weeks here. Yeah? Not going to be playing the first few rounds because he's gone and decided to go for the high bump. And it looks like Jai Simpkin on the other end of the ground is, uh, I don't know if he's, he's not out cold, but he's definitely not looking good. Um, so, obviously, possibly concussion there. Which, uh, yeah, it's just not good, is it? Another mark. The ball has 100% been down north setting for longer this quarter, as the sign just sounds. But every time we get it inside 50, north's defence are fucking useless. And we just look like scoring. And we're having another set shot. As you see behind memory. And that looks good. No, it doesn't. It's not it. Oh, it's a goal. Almost not registered the distance there, the Saints. Finished the quarter all right, but it's not good to see that Jimmy Webster bump. Um, but yeah, early on I expected a pretty high scoring start and we got it. Yeah, King's looking good, all the players look good, and I think it's already tough to be a good year for us. How do you reckon that went, mate? Good, good. How do you reckon it went? <laughs> pretty shit. Fucking bad if that's that easy. North's defence are genuinely terrible. What, what's St Kilda's inside 50 conversion? I know we're playing North, but if that's going to be our inside 50 conversion, every time we go in we look like scoring, then it's going to be a fun year. It's gone in. All of a sudden gone real sunny when I thought it was going to start to be shitty weather, and I could not see that, but it looks like Bonner's actually kicked that through a Henry Mark. Two new recruits for the Saints have uh, really combining the goal. and. In too. Saints now lead it by 21 points. I'll show you the replay. The wind's starting to pick up, Scoops. How's your audio quality going to run? Hey, yeah, yeah right this. off the phone. Uh, off the yeah, phone. you guys are right, Cardi. I'm right. hoping, I'm really hoping that unlike last week, the audio quality can hold up a little bit better. And they're all going to boo Jimmy Webster as well. I actually haven't asked you this, but how many weeks do you reckon Webster's going to get? Oh, well, it depends if there's... Yeah, One to two uh, weeks, Scoops. What do you actually uh, reckon? Uh, let's just hope that Gillen's back for this decision. Nah, it'll probably be one or two. One or two? Uh, look, to be honest with you, I think it's more than one or two at this rate. If Pow Pepper's getting four, I think he could be getting four or five, to be honest. Well, Simpkin walked off, I suppose. That might help. Yeah, but it didn't look good. I thought surely Scoops wasn't being serious, so I called him again to see if he changed his opinion on how many weeks Webster should get. I will expect at least three or four, but if it's anything more than that, then that's when I start to debate it. Okay, what it should be is what should be two to three years. Raw Marshall. Well to do. Yes. Slots it. Yeah. 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 
The Saints have already kicked the 53 points. 100 has to happen now, you think. We're on track. And um, we've kicked already three in this second quarter. The North Melbourne's just won. Wood. Wait, wait, Wood, wait. <laughs> And he's missed it. Honestly, we've kicked the last six behinds of this oh, game. Too, yeah. We could be up by more with all these shots because they're not even that bad. Naz, just get a goal. Another, another point. How many points in a row? Eight, twelve. Going to go in again. Exciting signs for the for the year. Yeah, absolutely. Um, liking how we're moving the ball off half back in the midfield, you know. Mitch Allen's doing really well. So, yeah, exciting times. Yeah, is King kicking uh, 70 plus goals, winning the common, do you reckon? Oh, mate, that should be a given. Exactly. And people say I'm an idiot for that as well. And where are the Saints finishing, do you reckon, this year? I'm saying um, fifth, maybe push for a top four late on, but. Sa North Melbourne are coming top four. Hey. Do you not want to say anything about a certain oh, someone? Yeah. So to someone, Sophia, I featured in a Carmen 22 video. <laughs> yeah, Sophia, take that, you little Look how bad the line is for food. I might, fucking terrible. I might have to ask someone how long they've been waiting for. Uh, about 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 minutes? 20 minutes? 20 minutes. 20 40 minutes. 40. <laughs> That's not good. It's, well, what are you guys going to get? What are you guys going to get? Um, chips. Chips. It's a joke. It's a, it's what are you going to get? Uh, large chips for the lads. Just got a pack of lollies for the lads. What are you going to get from the food truck? St Kilda. What are you going to get from the food truck? What am I getting? Yeah. Chips and coke. How do you how do you think the North are going to go this season? Shit. Are they going to escape the bottom two? No. I'm going to beat Essendon. You're going to beat so you're going to beat. Are you finishing above Essendon? Yeah. Okay. Fair. I, I can see that happening. Essendon. Essendon, Essendon are no good. Oh, that's not a good handball at all. Through. So North get the first of this third quarter in the, the side where the win certainly the uh, more advantage and it's only 27 points. It probably feels like it should be a bit more than that though. I feel like we've been more dominant but yeah. it's just been as a late like we've scored I think eight behinds in a row. So. Clarky to only make it 21 points here to really make things slightly interesting for the game's sake. He chips it, got it. and he's got it. So not very loud. It's all Saints here in this area but North have another one and it's 21 points. Let's cheer on a guy that knocked someone out. No, he did not. False advertising. Common Jones makes it nine points and North get the last four goals. And I said it'd be competitive. Look at this. This wind is genuinely screwed. It's insane. Holy crap. Well, Nick Larkey's going to have another set shot. This is five goals in like eight minutes here at RCA. Larkey always seems to nail these ones and he's got it. It's three points. It was 34 like eight minutes ago. Goal, 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 goal. And look at all freaking Saints behind, Seven behind, 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 behind. Accurate North have been as well. Behind. What do you think of that Saints fan? Ah, uh, rubbish, rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> Saints haven't scored a goal yet this quarter. Um, but the, go the ball really hasn't gone down that end much at all because of the wind and North's dominance. Come on, Higgins. I could have kicked that. Sammy said you could kick that. Disgraceful kicking from St Kilda. Eight goals, 14 now to nine goals, three. Uh, three could have time. The Saints haven't scored a goal that quarter. North's kicked five. How are we feeling, mate? Good, but it's going to be close. Do you reckon going to be a close finish without you? Saints are going to win. Up the Saints. I hope the Saints get up. What do we reckon with St Kilda this season? Are we looking at a top eight finish, maybe? Yes, definitely. What about for North Melbourne? What do you reckon? Nah, I reckon 14th, maybe. Blues, and they're going to win the Premiership. What do you think of North's performance in that third quarter? Uh, very good. Who, who, who's impressed you the most? Which player? Uh, 
and Nick Larky. Yeah, I agree. And what about for, you, for Saints? Uh, probably Jack Steele. Jack Steele. Yeah, fair enough. Phil should have a good season. Three, two, one. Go Saints! Not a single goal we've scored, and our skills have looked really, you know, average. What the fuck? Come on. You guys haven't kicked a goal in three quarters. We're two just back to our old ways here. Yeah? We look. Really good in the first half, apart from bad kicking in the th in the second. It was 58. But North do look like a really good side compared to us in this second half. Far out. Yeah. We were right behind that one. The Saints get their first and second half, and one with Jordan. There's a Huntsman as well. There's a Huntsman in the scoreboard. 69. First 69 for the Saints this year. Almost kicked one from 65 out. 70 plays 65. William Henry! Thanks for that, Doc. William Henry kicks the ripper from the boundary. What a finish! Now that's what we're talking about. I don't know if I got that, I hope I did. I did. Yeah, Scoops. Might need the phone. Might need the footage from Scoops that we can have a look at the replay. From the boundary, right behind him. Is that Durs one? Yeah. Siren, Saints win. Not, not, maybe not as good as last week's win, but I think we've won the pre-season as well, so. Yes, come on. Go marching in, go how I want to be a killer. When the Saints go marching just like that, the pre-season finishes with the Saints winning by 19 against a relatively gallant North Melbourne outfit. I have to say, they, they weren't too bad at all, to be honest, and I expected them to have a good fight, but uh, obviously, oh, RCA, yeah, just every single game seems to be windy, and again, it was just the inaccuracy that cost us. I thought Fisher for the Bruce played well, uh, Darcy Wilson played well for the Saints, and Jimmy Webster, oh, Jimmy, you made a massive mistake. The Saints had the Cats in round one at GMHBA. It's gonna be massive. And I'm hoping that we can, uh, yeah, win that. That'd be massive. But anyways, thanks everyone for watching this video. And we'll see you very soon in the next one.